Well, it's certainly been a gloomy day thus far. Plenty of cloud cover, a lot of the isolated rainfall continuing to push off to the east of us at this point. So we're staying dry, but we do have those clouds. It's 53 degrees now, so temperatures are slowly warming up. Winds still sustained from the east, 17 miles per hour. Those winds will eventually begin to shift further off to the south. Well, we're looking at 30 mile per hour wind gusts. You pair that with the eventual sunshine. A lot of the cloud cover, this upper level moisture that's above us right now, will begin to break up. And eventually, we're talking about some sunshine peeking through. You pair those two together, that will help boost temperatures throughout the viewing area. You're already seeing the 60s for the far southern portion of the viewing area. It's 61 in Crawfordsville, 50 only in Kokomo. Check out Rensselaer still sitting in the 40s, 49 degrees there. So temperatures will begin to warm up and eventually we're actually headed towards the mid to upper 70s later today. Some of us may actually even see the 80s later on this afternoon. 74 West Lafayette, 75 Fowler, right around 77 degrees in Crawfordsville later today. Now, how are we supposed to warm up so much? Well, we actually have that sunshine headed our way that's slowly creeping eastward at this point. A lot of this cloud cover actually will begin to break up on your high res future cast eventually giving way to some partially cloudy, cloudy skies to see a few you know, nice clear areas there allowing the sun to peek through. Now behind that, however, you're going to see that surface heating temperatures warm up to those mid to upper 70s. You take that, you add the moisture to the equation that's perfect for thunderstorm development and it's exactly what we're looking at later today. You'll notice a few clusters of storms rolling through the viewing area during the afternoon and evening hours. We are talking about some of these storms being pretty large and pretty strong capable producing large hail gusty winds, a slight risk of severe weather for this far southern and western portions of the viewing area, though I would not be surprised to see some stronger thunderstorms as well in the northeastern region on top of that. So the main threats today, hail and wind. Wind gusts could be in excess of 60 miles per hour, hail larger than an inch in diameter. Flooding possible, though uh, not quite as likely as the wind and hail as uh, torrential downpours are expected with some of these larger cells, but altogether at least tornadoes not exactly uh, anticipated though still a small possibility with some of these larger storms rolling through later in the afternoon. 56 degrees, that'll be your overnight low temperature tonight. The light showers and storms will continue then depart during the early morning hours tomorrow. See a lot of the cloud cover break up actually giving way to a pretty nice start to your Tuesday. However, showers and storms expected to roll back into the region. The very same area of low pressure that will supply us with our storms today will continue to roll eastward. Eventually, cold front will push across the region tomorrow. Temperatures will be slightly cooler as a result. We only warm up to around 73 degrees for tomorrow, and then we really begin to cool off. We'll see an additional chance of showers and thunderstorms for Tuesday, and the rain chances stick around through Wednesday and Thursday as well. 62 degrees your afternoon high temperature on Wednesday. We cool off to around 55 degrees on Thursday. Isolated rainfall both of those days. Friday, we're looking at a high temperature of 56 degrees with mainly cloudy skies. Back up to 59 on Saturday. Sunday, high temperature right around 64 degrees, Alex, with an additional chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. We had a beautiful weekend behind us, and now it's all gone. Yeah, pretty much all gone at this point. At least we'll have the next couple of hours here. Mainly dry conditions, but these storms will return, and uh, we could possibly see once again some of those severe storms later today. All right, Ken.